Welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, the show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs use human design to shift from hustle to flow without sacrificing results. Come here to become an unshakable human and build an unshakable business according to your human design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, everybody. I'm your host, Nicole Lano, and we're here today to talk about money. Money and human design. Now, specifically, I am going to go into three myths that I hear a lot that I think confuse people about the connection between money and human design and how you can use human design to help map your money journey to understand it more and to make more of it. Human design is about magnetism. We absolutely can attract money and we attract what's right for us when we follow our design. So I'm going to break down some of these top misconceptions that I hear. We're going to debunk these myths on money and share how it actually works in this episode. Now, if you're interested in money and human design, business and human design, my free masterclass is coming up again, the Authority Accelerator Masterclass, which is my five-day free masterclass where I teach you my soul strategy method, which is five parts to building a sustainable and profitable business according to your human design a business built on your genius, built on your gifts, but also that makes money and sustains you and feels good, not just the magnetism part. Because honestly, that just feels like it's telling half the story. The energy is part of it, but we actually take you through all of the steps that it takes to build a business by human design, a business that actually makes money. So if you want to get in on that, all you have to do is DM me the word masterclass on Instagram. I'm at Nicole Lano official or go to Nicole forward slash masterclass and you can register right there on the website. So let's dive into this conversation about money and human design. So if you've ever wondered why you have whatever your relationship is with money, if you've ever wondered why do I have this history with money, why do I always bump up against these issues with money? You may have been digging through your past and been trying to figure out, you might be able to point to it and say like, oh, well, my mom always said we didn't have any money, so I know that it stems from that. I've talked about this in other episodes, how that's really not the whole story. We do have to go deeper than that. But one of the things that human design can show us, it can show us what our natural relationship is with money and also just is money that big a deal in your life, meaning Is it really that big of a theme for you? Is it in a prominent place in your design where you have one of these big money activations? Then it might be a theme for you. So I'll break it down in the form of the myths because I think that we'll start there and then I'll go a little bit deeper and I'll tell you how it actually works and how you can use this system to start to unravel and decode your relationship with money and why some of the things that have happened, the good and the bad, why they have happened and how you can have more good rather than the bad, okay? So human design can answer these questions for you. We're just gonna go about them. A lot of times it's just about going at it a different way. And as I say that, I'll break down what I really mean by that, how a lot of times with human design, it's not so much about not doing something or doing something, it's about just coming at it from a different angle. So these can be the nuances that really make a difference. So I hope you enjoy this episode and I hope that this delivers tons of value for you and sheds light on this process. So let's start out with myth number one. Myth number one about human design and money is that the money gates and the money channels are everything. So there are certain aspects of the human design chart that do relate to money. The ego center relates to money. Gate 45, the money line channel. Anything in the ego circuitry will have some theme of support, some theme of making money, foundations for money, all of that. They have different meanings, but they do have a tie to money. So there's that. They are not everything. Those money gates, those money channels, those money activations are not everything. But they can tell you a lot about what your relationship is with money. What are your strengths? So definition in your chart will tell you what themes you are going to have constantly going on in your life. So let's use the money line, for example. The money line is the 2145 channel reaching from the ego center, connecting it to the throat. 
This is like the administrator. It's the queen energy. The money line is about managing resources, going out and getting resources and being able to manage them for the good of everybody. There are many ways. I know so many people who have the money line. And I remember when I first got into human design, I was like, oh, if you have the money line, that must mean that you're going to have lots of money. And I have half of it. I have gate 45. I don't have the 21. So I was like, oh, that means that I'm not going to be able to get the money. I can just manage the money. And then I was like, but I don't really manage the money that well. It must be because I don't have the 21. And do you see how this becomes a very mental process? I start thinking about it. I start thinking I don't have something. I need to fix something. If I had it, life would be better. All of that untrue, all of that tricks of the mind, which is what human design is meant to take you away from. It messes with your nervous system. It gets you trying to fix something that maybe isn't broken. And that pulls you more off course than anything else. So your conditioning here, the conditioning is what is going to keep you from whatever the highest expression is of this thing. So let's use that money line as an example. Yes, it is about managing resources. Yes, it is about being able to take care of the tribe. It is about financial know-how to a degree. Now, everything in the chart is to have it or to not have it. So if you have the channel, maybe you're not very good at it. Maybe this is a lesson that you have to learn. You are born with potential. Potential does not mean that it is automatically given. Maybe you grew up where there was really messed up stuff around money, so that potential was shifted. But it does tell you where your work is. So if you have the 2145 channel, if you have the money line, then there is a theme that probably will come up. Either it's good or bad or somewhere in between, but you probably have some strong history with managing money well or not, managing finances well or not. It's probably a theme in your life. So by having that channel, what it tells you is that you probably have work there to do. You want to pay attention to this stuff. It's potential for you. So this might be an area that you really want to look at and you want to look at it not from like, how do I get more money necessarily? It might be about managing the money. It might be about really being smart about money. It might be about investing. So it's not just all about the moment. The 4521 has big visions for things. It's about educating. It's about doing things right. There's so many themes here. So when you start to dig into it, it starts to tell you what your relationship is. You can ask better questions of yourself. That's what diving into your chart is really about is about asking better questions of yourself, the questions that are right for you, so you get to the ultimate potential that is yours. But you might not have these money activations, so maybe money is not necessarily the thing you have to be thinking about all the time. Leaning on your definition, leaning on what is strong for you, would probably be your quickest way out of whatever money woes or situations that you are a part of right now. But most of us have some sort of money activations. We have something in our chart, a gate or something, that's cluing us in to some of the work that we have to do. Which brings me to myth number two. We think that understanding is enough. I have the money line. I don't have the money line. I have the 2644 channel. I don't have it. Sales is a theme for me or it's not. Now, I have a lot of activations in the money circuit. I have an absolute history with money that is definitely a recurring theme in my life. It's where a lot of my greatest learning of my own process has come from. But understanding that I have those activations is not enough. The chart isn't the end. It's the beginning. The chart isn't the treasure. It's the map to the treasure. And we often treat it like it's the treasure. We often treat it like, I know that I have this thing, so now what do I do? Now the work begins, and that's the part that a lot of people don't get to. So they end up, you're booking like four readings, waiting for somebody to tell you something you haven't heard. That probably won't happen. It's for you to take the level deeper. And when we're talking about money, it is about looking at your chart and seeing where you're letting your conditioning guide you rather than your truth, rather than your definition. You wonder why you're not magnetic to people. You wonder why you're not living your purpose. You wonder why things aren't working out with money or prosperity in general, why you don't feel fulfilled. I can pretty much tell everybody I do this in my business by design mentorship. 
I do this in other containers, my private containers where I'm working with people. I call out, you're not really doing the work. You think that knowing is enough. You remember the movie The Goonies from the 80s? I'm a child of like, I grew up in the 80s and 90s. And The Goonies was this great movie by Steven Spielberg where these kids find a treasure map and they all have to sell their homes to like, I think it's a developer that is coming in and going to buy up all of their homes to build these new homes because I think it's like waterfront property and they're all going to get thrown out and they're all going to have to go live someplace else. So their friend group is going to break up. And these kids find a treasure map in their dad's attic and they follow the treasure map and they end up getting, quote unquote, the rich stuff is what they called it. One-eyed Willie's treasure. Finding the map was the beginning of the movie. They had to go on the adventure. They had to figure out the riddles in the map. Someone had to speak Spanish to translate aspects of it. They had to play the piano. They had all of these things that they had to employ in order to make it to the ship where the treasure was hidden, where it was trapped. It did not end with the finding of the map. It's like the first scene in the movie, they find the map. The rest of the movie is them getting to the treasure. And that is the simplest metaphor I can give you for the chart. The chart is the first scene in the movie. Ooh, treasure exists. Now how do I go find it? And you find it by following your strategy and authority. You're trusting your definition and loving what you receive in your openness. You're not allowing yourself to be pulled by your openness, which is your conditioning. You're not allowing it to be pulled by your past, which is your conditioning. You're able to sit and say, no, I'm going to follow what's true for me. That's how I get to my treasure. Projectors, you're not making money because you're not waiting out for the invitation. You're not hanging out. You're not waiting to be recognized. You're not letting yourself be seen for your gifts so you can be recognized. Then you can book as many readings as you want and someone can tell you a million times what potential is there for you, but you will never realize it. If you are running around trying to keep up with generators, trying to be seen, rather than just leaning back into your gifts and really developing an expertise and showing up and showing people who you are and what you know without the desperate energy of feeling like, pick me, pick me, pick me. This is how you find your treasure. And I'm not saying that it's easy. I'm not saying that at all. Please don't misunderstand me that I'm being like, hey, you fool, why aren't you just following the strategy and authority? I understand and know personally how difficult this is. We are learning a new way to live. We are trusting in new things. And most of the time, we are trusting something we have been told not to trust, which is why we are out of alignment. But your conditioning is what keeps you from making money and attracting what you want in life. Your conditioning is what keeps you away from your magic. So it isn't about looking at the map again. It's about following the steps that the map is laying out for you. Alignment and the alignment processes that human design gives you gets you following your truth and allowing your purpose to work through you. Now, when your purpose is working through you, what I have seen, what I have witnessed, what I have experienced, the money stuff starts to present itself, whether it be for me in bigger ways, it was showing me how I needed to be more responsible with my money, how I needed to be a better steward of money, how I needed to be more of my 45. I had to ask myself, what does 45 really mean? And I had to learn those lessons. And you know what I realized? I didn't have to hunt for the money as hard as I thought I had to, which was what I was doing, which was my conditioning to push into that gate 21, to control it. I had to manage it better and trust that I would have money coming to me. I didn't have to hunt for it. That was conditioning telling me I had to go out and hunt for all the money. No, my way was to allow myself to receive in that area, to lean back there, notice what I felt, and to get better at managing the money and speaking what I thought needed to be said. That's also a theme of 45. Money came through that alignment. That's how we change. That's how you start to use your human design chart as your own personal treasure map. Okay, so now the third myth is that human design and alignment is all you need. It's unfortunately not true. It can get you very far. Certainly, if you have the other pieces in place already that I'm going to share with you, what else is needed in order to make money, have a sustainable business by human design, 
if you have these other pieces that I'm about to share with you, then yes, maybe human design and alignment is all you need because you've already done the other stuff. But if you're sitting here listening and saying, well, I don't have these things that I'm going to mention, then you're really going to want to come to that Authority Accelerator Masterclass that I'm hosting starting on the 16th. You're really going to want to come to that because I'm going to take you through in depth each of these steps and show you how you really build this out so your business makes money and it's in alignment so it feels good. You're living your purpose, but you're also monetizing your purpose in a way that feels sustainable, that you're building something that makes you money rather than just money grabs here and there. They work for a while and then they don't, that you actually build a system so that money is coming to you consistently and regularly and in a way that feels good to you and natural to you and doesn't burn you out. So alignment is not all that you need. The other aspects that you need is now that you know what your alignment is, assuming that you are following your treasure map, that you are doing the work. Your chart doesn't tell you what you're going to do for a living, unfortunately. It's not going to be like, you should be in real estate. It doesn't tell you that. But what it does tell you is it tells you what your natural talents are. And so if you take that and you lay it on top of the expertise that already exists, if you lay it on top of, well, I already do these things, you can develop a what I call your genius brand. But your genius brand and message that is positioned exactly where you start to get very specific about what you do and the way that you do it, that you get to stand out as an authority in your space because you're starting to sound different than everybody else. It's not just about the pure skill that you have, but it is the magic of your design that starts to come through it. And we do that through a strategic message where we start to combine your energetic blueprint with a strategic message that is positioned to sell. So we position you as an expert, but then we're also saying like, okay, well, how do we frame this in a way that is letting people know if they have this problem that I solve it and that they can buy something from me and I can help them overcome these obstacles that have stymied them for so long. You have to do that work in order to get people to buy from you because they don't buy ideas. They buy solutions. They buy a better life, something that they feel will make their life better in some way. You have to understand that and you have to be able to position your message strategically in a way that makes that very easy for people to understand that you solve their problem and they should pay you to solve it. You need a way to deliver that message consistently and powerfully. I teach you how to do that with an authority platform. So what is a way that you get to shine your light regularly? I'm looking at you projectors. I'm looking at you manifestors. I'm looking at everybody because everybody needs a way of getting their genius out there. We get so focused on what is my genius that we don't bother showing anybody. I had a mentor told me years ago, he was like, you're amazing. You could do anything. I'm so impressed by you all the time. But I'll tell you this. It was something that his brother told him long ago. He's like, it doesn't matter unless you show the world. So you need a way to get yourself out there. And an authority platform through a podcast is what I teach. But an authority platform where you're putting out a consistent message where people can start to understand you, what you do, how you do it, and you are showcasing your genius is essential. It is the way that you stand out from the crowd and you start to be somebody who doesn't need to be delivering, like pitching people all the time. People come to me and they buy readings. They spend thousands of dollars with me without ever speaking to me or asking me a question. And they all come from the podcast when they buy like that. They all come from binging a few episodes and being like, yep, that's my girl. And they feel confident spending that money. And they do it with me over all of the other choices that are out there that are cheaper a lot of times too. Why? Because they're like, she holds something for me. And that comes from this energetic exchange that's happening here that I have demonstrated my expertise in a way that is strategically laid out. None of these episodes are by accident. The way that they are structured is not by accident. Everything has a purpose without being over-engineered or difficult. Okay? That's the power of an authority platform. And then you have this platform, but then you need a way for people to buy from you. You need offers that align with this genius that you have. You need them to be tied to that message that you're delivering 
so that it's a step-by-step process that people go through to end up buying something from you. This is how you end up working smarter, not harder. This is how you end up doing things that really move the needle rather than feeling like you are always trying to sell something. You're starting from zero at the start of every month trying to build back your revenue. No, we build a machine that makes you money is basically what I'm talking about. And that's what the soul strategy method is all about. That is what we teach inside my Business by Design mentorship, but I'm going to teach it all to you for free. I'm going to lay this entire process out for you in the Authority Accelerator Masterclass. Five days free with me. All you have to do to register is DM me the word masterclass on Instagram. I'm at Nicole Lano official or go to nicolano.com forward slash masterclass and you can register right there on the website. We'll take care of you right there. So I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that this debunked some of the myths that you have heard or have been living by or feeling trapped under when it comes to human design and money. It can be so much more simple than we think, and it can help you really understand how you can maximize and step into your potential. So I hope that you found this useful. I hope that you love the app. Please share it with somebody that you love. I appreciate you. And remember, In order to have an unshakable business, you must first become an unshakable human. So thanks for letting us help you become unshakable with human design, everybody. We will see you next time. If you love this episode and you're a fan of the show, please show us the love on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to the show and leave us a review. And if you'd like to connect with other entrepreneurs on their human design journey, join our free Facebook community, Human Design for Entrepreneurs. Go to nicolano.me forward slash podcast links to join the group, book a human design reading with me, or access our free human design resources. We'll see you there.